this guy, his name is Max on Discord. This guy is fucking writing directly to his fucking bias using just hookup wire. What the f bro, chill. Time to get back on the grind, baby. What do you think we're gonna work on today? I, I, I don't know, man. We're gonna work on that. <laughs> the first order of business is writing a UART, a UART module that will run on this so we can communicate with that from the, from the, 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 what was it called? The computer. Okay, this is the start of the UART module. Let's see how far, how far it can go in one day. Okay, just looking at the board, you can see that there, this thing here, it says BL702, right? BL702. And if we search it up, BL702, it's a chip that handles high performance IoT stuff. It turns out that it also supports two UARTs. So I'm gonna use that thing. I'm pretty sure it's connected to the USB-C here on the side, which is very, very useful. So we don't have to have a UART cable. Okay, I have a lot of work to do to make the to make the uh, UART work, and I almost gave up. I almost gave up on it, and. Uh, Okay, so this is a UART cable. Look, 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 look. Bam. So what we have here is an FPGA board, right? So if we want to debug it, so for example, we're running a code on it and we want to see what's happening on there. We can't just say print X, print Y. What is the state of this thing? What is the state of that thing? No, that's, that's what you can do in a computer, not on a board. So you need, you need a UART cable, right? It has a ground cable, a voltage cable, a transmit cable, and a receive cable. So four things, right? So it can transmit while it's receiving something. And it works in serial, meaning it'll send bits in a, in a serial order. One, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero. When you have that module, you can now debug things that are on your board. Now what you need is basically a clock to like uh, make the bits go in, in a serial order, like clock, 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 send in, send in, send in, send in. And then you need two shift registers, one for receiving things bit by bit, and one's for pushing things into uh, the pipe bit by bit. But it's not that simple. There is a bunch of shit going on in the background that I need to implement. It's a lot of work. Bros, I've been, I've been working on this shit for, for hours. I say this phrase a lot. It's still so many different documents that I need to re read. Probably like 10. I have like source codes to review. I need to learn more, more about our, um, what am I talking about? That's some of the ugliest fucking soldering I've ever seen. I'm just hoping that it didn't damage the circuit over here. It looks fine, but I need to test that, so. Okay, let's see if I burned it. So, if I plug it in and it doesn't turn on, that means I burned it. If we see lights, that means we're in the okay. Fuck, it doesn't turn on. It doesn't turn on. Oh shit, I've run it. Come on. Oh! 
reminder that we're coding a risk v computer in operating system that goes on the risk v computer and then a browser that goes on top of the operating system all on this fpga that i showed you earlier my little baby but i'm trying to do it in 90 days 90 days that's crazy see you tomorrow tomorrow